Did I need this? Do I know where it's going to go? No, I don't. But I love it. And then look at this. This is what got me. This is what got me to buy it. Because look at this. Big nose, big lips. I said, oh, yes, you coming home with me. Hi, and thank you for coming back to my channel. This is going to be part three of my gingerbread haul. I'm going to show you the stuff that I didn't get to show you in the last haul, as well as some new stuff that I've been picking up. But this is going to be the final haul because I, I got to start decorating. I got to get out the store and actually get to putting this stuff up. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's start over here. So I got this pillow set. It's a set of three from Burlington. And I mainly got it because of this cute little gingerbread pillow on the front. But you can kind of see that it, it's supposed to, they had it styled like this. This little set was $30. And I like it because he's, I don't know, this little gingerbread is corduroy. And I think it's so cute and it's, it's kind of neutral. So it kind of goes with everything. The back two pillows, I'm not in love with them. But, you know, they're part of the set so I can make it work. And they are really soft. So that that's one thing. But I do like how they go with this Hobby Lobby runner. So I got this runner. It was $28.99, so $14.50. And I just, I don't know. I love it. I think it's so cute. I don't know where it's going to go, if it's going to go somewhere this year, or if it's just going to be put up for a future year. But, like, look at how this little house coordinates with this, like, pillow. I, I just, it all works together. So I really like that. Over here, I got this cute little Betsy Johnson throw from Ross. This was $10.99. And I just, I had to. I love a green, so she got me there. I love the little gingerbread people, all the cookies. I needed it, and I've already opened this up and used it because, girl, it was cold last night, and I had to use it. The other blanket I got was this one from Marshalls. It was $30, and I really, okay, I never decorate my bedroom for any holiday because I have a cow king, and I find it hard to find festive sheets that I like that fit a cow king. This is actually a king size blanket, but it's gonna work. So I think I'm just gonna throw this across my bed with my usual bed set. It was $30. I love this pattern. Traditional red, green, white. I absolutely love it. And so I'm going to do that. And then I think it'll look good with that vintage Santa pillow that I showed in part one of the haul. Uh, so I think I might put all of that together and we'll see how that's going to go. Okay, next I found this cute little candy pillow at Ross. I just, it's so, it's big, first of all. And this was $11.99, $12.99, one of those. $12.99, $13. This was $13.00. And it's all furry. I just, I really like it. I, I know that Walmart has a similar pillow. But this one, it, it just got me because it's furry. And it's got the little red velvet stripes. And I have a lot of red pillows, I feel like, that I want to put on my sofa this year. So I feel like this is going to help break that up with some of the white. And then, of course, I had to get this little candy cane pillow from Walmart. Now, I have, I was thinking about getting the Kirkland's one, but then I was like, do I really need to spend that much on pillows? Because I really, I really don't need not, no more pillows, not, not another pillow. But this was $7. I got two of these because I felt like this was small enough for me to just justify me buying yet another pillow. But then let me show you this behind here. So this, this is a runner, a table runner. $16.99 from TJ Maxx and I got this because I saw it in previous years and I liked it but then I didn't get it because I was like I don't know it's kind of non-traditional it's it's Christmassy colors but it also is kind of not Christmas at the same time but it's really cute and it has these little tassels at the bottom and there's little gold cording through there and I like it, and it's it's big. It's a 16 by 90, so it's bigger than normal. And my table is big. I have an eight-foot dining table. And I felt like this might be the runner that I want to use for the table just because it does have all the colors on it. 
The other thing I like about it is, I mean, this is the underside. So, I mean, they don't expect you to use this side. But I like this side, too, because it's got more of the white. So, I don't know. I don't know if, it's, if this is going to get used this year or if I'm just going to hold it or take it back. But I, I like it. Okay, let's get started on the table. I'm kind of going fast because I got a lot of stuff to get through. And I want to cram in as much as I can. So here we go. I got this little Jingle All The Way banner from Target. Let me back up so you can see it. It has the cute little white puff balls at the bottom. And these banners were regularly $5, but they were having a sale, so I got it for $3.50. And I'm thinking I want to put this on my white tree because I'm going to have my main tree is going to be a white tree with red and pink and a splash of teal so I'm thinking this might be cute on there I got a couple of these just to see if I'll be able to make it work so that's what I got from Target and then I got these beautiful towels from TJ Maxx these were ten dollars I was getting these towels because I was trying to find something that's going to work with some red and white striped towels that I had from uh, where I get those from Home Goods last year in an after Christmas sale. And so I was trying to find some towels that might coordinate. And I saw these. And it has this beautiful embroidered gingerbread men. There's just the three of them on there. So the first towel is the, the gingerbread men. Then the second towel is just kind of a utility towel. And then the last one is red with these pretty gingerbread on them. So I, I really like this. I did get two sets because I really wished I could have got two. I wish the set would have been two of these embroidered ones, but you know, they didn't want to give us two in the same set. But I really, this was the reason I bought the set. So that was $10. Another set of towels are these, which I had to get these because look at them. This is my entire theme in a towel like we got the pink with the red the splash of teal the little gingerbread men the candy canes everything about this is my theme so when i saw these towels i had to get them i had to get them and i got these ones at marshall's they were also ten dollars it's a set of three but luckily it came with two of this nice pattern so it has the little pom-pom edge i just i couldn't leave these in the store um and then it has the again the red utility towel in the center and the other one that's patterned so i got two sets of these because i'm thinking i want to use this as a runner on my cocoa bar i know that don't make no sense but i, I feel like it's, it's gonna work so i got two sets because i wanted to use one set as a runner and then i don't know what i'm gonna, maybe the rest of this will just be in the kitchen or or maybe I'll just have this one just to keep clean. But it's it's cute. I like it. Okay, back to Target. Target had these cute little gingerbread plates. They're plastic. It was $3 for a set of four. So I felt like that wasn't bad. I'm thinking I'm going to use this as part of the place setting with my usual Christmas dishes that I do. Um, we'll see how it looks. I haven't pulled them out to see how they all work together. But we'll see how it looks. And then I got this pink tablecloth. So this is just a basic pink tablecloth, no pattern or anything. And this is going to be for my dining table because my dining table is like an eight footer. I usually can't find pretty patterned ones at Home Goods or any of those places that are big enough to accommodate this table. And I want there to be a little bit of draping. So I got this on Amazon. I paid like $20 for this. I'll link it if anybody is looking for a pink tablecloth. I feel like it's going to be the right pink to work with my theme. So I'm excited to see how all of that's going to come together. And let's get into these gingerbread houses. So this one right here, she's my favorite. She's my favorite. I went into Home Goods and I saw her on the shelf and I immediately... I immediately snatched her up. I didn't have a cart. I just snatched her up. I was holding her in my arms like a newborn child. She is beautiful. This is my favorite. Of all the other houses that I got this year, I got to say she my favorite because she has everything. She's got the little candy ribbons. I love a ribbon candy. And they had the nerve to put it on the roof, 
on the side of the house and over the doorpost. And look at this little happy face gingerbread man. I'm just like, I had to. I had to. I had to. I, let me, okay. So this is the side. So it's just so pretty. I just love that there's this like candy just hanging around on the side. It's like somebody dropped it and didn't care to pick it up. This little house was $40. And I'm at the point where if I see this again, I'm gonna get another one. I'm lighting her up for you. She's just so pretty. So she's my favorite. I want to use her as my table centerpiece, but I'm also thinking I might want her on the cocoa bar. So we'll see where she ends up. But I mean, I just, I mean, the reef with the bow and the peppermint in the center. I can't. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Hands down. My absolute favorite. Okay, let me come on down. Then I saw this little house in Marshall's. And I thought this one was cute, too, because it kind of reminds me of a schoolhouse. I don't know. This reminds me of, like, a little bell tower or something. And then the way the windows are, it just looks like a schoolhouse. So I got it because I felt like that would work with the, with the theme. This one was $30. And it's cute. It's a little bit more narrow, so I'm going to be able to actually put this on my mantle. So I've decided that's where I'm going to set up the village. It's going to be on my fireplace mantle and then down on the hearth and stuff. So this one is narrow enough to fit on my mantle. So she's not narrow enough for the mantle, but this one is. So I like it. Look at the little faces. Oh, it's too good. Okay, let me keep going. And then I found in Home Goods, I found this little food truck. And I just, I don't know. It, the sprinkles on top got me with the little smokestack. I mean, and then this little cutie in here baking up treats. Just got them available for whoever is ready to purchase. Like, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I need this? Do I know where it's going to go? No, I don't. But I love it. And then look at this. This is what got me. This is what got me to buy it. Cause look at this. Big nose, big lips. I said, oh yes, you coming home with me. Cause you're family. You are in good company. Good company. Come on home. I love it. That one was 30, I wanna say. Yeah, $30. Home goods. Love it. Absolutely love it. And then this, I showed you in the last haul I found this peppermint tree at Home Goods, and it was $25. But then I went to Marshall's and I found another one, which I was happy about because I did want two. Because things do well in pairs, we know. But it was only $20 at Marshall's. And I told the lady at the checkout, like, oh, I just got the same one at Home Goods and it was $25. And she was like, yeah, Home Goods does that sometimes. So I'm like, now I feel like when I go in the Home Goods, if I see the thing at Marshall's, I got to check the tag because it might be cheaper in the sister store. I said, ain't y'all related? Why y'all charging different prices? I kind of want my $5 back, but whatever. I'm going to get over it. Okay. So I know she's my favorite. But then this is probably my favorite neutral because I have been looking for this house for at least the last couple years, like at least two years. I have never seen this house in store. I've never seen it in somebody's cart. I've never seen it in somebody's uh, trunk driving off. Like I've never even seen this in any of my stores. So when I walked into Marshall's and I saw this, it was like my spirit leapt within my body. I don't know. Oh, I love this house so much. I love it. I love it. It's like, it's beautiful. It's neutral. Like she's elegant. She's classy. You know, like this is like the people that, you know, do their house and they only put the little white lights on, you know, and they just do like the nice, simple, elegant. And then over here, they like, yep, multicolored lights, party lights, blow ups in the yard sparklers going off like i just they from two different neighborhoods but i like them both i like her she was only 25 dollars, and i just i was so excited to get her and she's like the little sister to the big big one that i was able to get from home goods that i showed in the first haul so i i'm very overjoyed with the fact that i finally found this house because i was getting weary and well doing because i was already telling my mama i'm tired of going to these stores looking for this house I was tired, but you know, the Lord didn't let me get weary and well doing, so I'm happy. 
happy. Finally found her. So, real, real happy. Okay, let's keep going. This little, okay, this cookie jar. Let me move these up. We'll come back to them. This cookie jar. Ross. 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 I mean, look at this. Look at the detail. And then the green trees. And the candy striping on the sides. I just, I cannot. $10, yo. $10. Now, I did have to go. I found one. And I was like, you know I got to get two. I got to get two. So, I did drive around to all of the Rosses. And I found a second one. So, yeah. $10. And I got two. I, I can't even. Like, I just love it. And the main reason that I like it is because I feel like it works with the Martha Stewart cookie jar that I got from Ross um, last year that I paid like $20, $25 for. And I know that Home Goods supposedly has it this year for like $30. I haven't seen it in my Home Goods, so I'm gonna say allegedly. Home Goods allegedly has the Martha Stewart one this year, but I think this will work with that. So if you have that, or if you're trying to get that, this might work with it. So it'll feel like it's a set. Okay. Let's talk about these little, look at her. She's a place card holder from Hobby Lobby. And I had to get her because, I mean, she just wearing my colors. She understood the assignment. She knew what to wear. I said, okay, girl, you invited to the party. Because somebody had told you correctly. I. It was more, okay, she was more than I wanted to spend. Because, I mean, okay, it was $7, so three fifty. But, I mean, because I'm not going to use her as a place card holder. Like, you can sit where you want to sit. But she's just so cute and she was in my colors and so i got her and then i found her boyfriend i mean and he not wearing the right colors but we gonna let him in the party too because you know he did he did come bearing gifts he brought that candy cane so i got them and if i find more of her i'm gonna get more of her because i want her okay let's talk about this candle so i got this at what is this Bur Burlington yes I got this at Burlington it was six dollars which is more than I want to spend but it smells like sugar cookies and I mainly got it because I always put a candle on my little nativity setup that I do in my entryway and I thought this was pretty with the little gold gingerbread men and the holly and all of that and it was small enough to fit over there so that's why I got that this is a less exciting purchase it's all beat up Walmart had these for four dollars on clearance it's just a candy stripe um, extension cord. It says it was usually $10. I got it for four. I was just gonna show it to you. Target, I did get this little riser. So if you see this cute little snowman propping up my stuff here, $5 in the Target dollar spot. Cause I use anything as a riser, a tin can, boxes, whatever. We just use it. Okay, let's keep going. So also in the Target dollar spot, I got these cookie jars and this one is cute. It's a little gingerbread house. And I, I don't know, I like the, the roof detail because it reminds me of the Mr. Christmas one that I got. So I'm thinking this might work with that. And I like the little red door. So that's a cute one. And then I got the Walmart one too because I wasn't actually sure I was gonna get either one of these because I ordered the Walmart one for pickup because I had to go all the way across town to get it but um and i wasn't sure if they were going to actually have it in stock because these were flying off the shelf so this was also five dollars at walmart but i was able to get this one and the target one and i think i'm gonna keep them both i like i like them both i will say that you can fit more product into the target one than the walmart one because the walmart one is a little bit smaller so there's that Okay, and then I got this present back here. This is from Home Goods. This was eight dollars. Eight dollars. Seven ninety nine. I got it because look at this pretty little snowflake pattern and with the red bow. I just hadn't seen a canister like this, and I just thought it was too too cute to leave in the store. So I got it, and I think I might use it either in my table setting on the food table or somewhere near the cocoa bar, but I I just love it. Now this, let me tell y'all about this. So Michaels had these 
Um, and I was trying to get it in my local Michaels, but my Michaels is small. So basically they didn't even get these. This never even got to their shelves. I guess they pick and choose the products they're gonna get because they don't have a lot of space and they chose not to get this. So the nearest store to me was like miles. Like I would literally be almost driving to a whole nother city to find it. So I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to trip. Cause even that store said they had a limited quantity, so they wouldn't even put it on hold. So I wasn't sure if, even if I drove all the way over there, if I would get it. So I was like, whatever, it's fine. Why did I walk into home goods and they had him? He was just on the shelf, minding his business. And I said, what you doing up in here? You know, it's like, I just walked into a nice kind stranger. Look, what, what you doing inside of home goods? I, I just can't. He's my colors, he's my little splash of teal, the pink, the little peppermint buttons. And then Home Goods had him, oh, I took the tag off. Home Goods had him for, I wanna say $14. I'll, I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. But I just could not, I was, I was so excited. I said, okay, God must've just picked you up and brought you to, to the Home Goods so I could have you. That, that's all I could say. Cause, Cause, what other explanation is there? Why was this in Home Goods? We don't know. It had to be God. Okay, this gingerbread house, Marshalls, and I got this one not because I really don't need another gingerbread house. But look, okay, this one is an A-frame, so you know she's different. She's different. So I mean, I had to get her for that reason, right? She got the little smokestack. I look, or not smokestack, the chimney. And I like it because it just looks like a little snow chalet. You got the cute little gingerbread couple down here just hanging out by the front door. And the best part, this was only $30. And considering like some of the smaller ones, like I showed you these smaller ones were $30. And then you see how big this one is. I was like, this is a good deal. So. I like it. I like the, the roof line. And it's just cute. It's just cute. I can't deny it. It's cute. Now, this little guy here. I didn't think I would see these. Because I did, in early in the season, see the little peppermint one with the teal with the peppermints on it. And I passed it up because I was kind of like, I don't know. You know, do I need that? I don't know why I didn't just buy that one when I saw it because girl, that's your color scheme. What are you doing? Buy the color scheme. But I didn't get it, I left it there. But then I went back, so that was weeks and weeks ago. I went back to Marshall's and they just had this little guy sitting on the shelf. It's $15. And I said, yep, I'ma get him. I'ma get him. I'm, look at this little face. Look at this little face. And I, I don't know, I'm gonna get him. So this is probably gonna be on the cocoa bar or somewhere, it's gonna be somewhere. Um, I will say the glass is a little bit thin. So, you know, be ye careful when you mess with him cause he, he, he he'll, you know, he a little thin, okay? Um, let me come down here. Okay, so I'm gonna get to these trains. Cause I, I found, I found more trains in case anybody was wondering. I found more trains. Okay, but let me do let me do this real quick and then I'm gonna come down. Then I found this cute little guy here at TJ Maxx. Now, I was just telling y'all in, in the last haul that I had only found the little espresso mugs. I didn't see anything else from this collection. And then it's like, I went into, I decided I'ma just, I'ma just tip my toe into the TJ Maxx. I just wanna see if possibly they might have something going on. I'm gonna just turn my head around the corner, just peek in there. And I found him. They just had him right on the front display. And he was just sitting there grinning at me like this. And I said, okay, okay, sir. I walked in there. I thought he was gonna be $20. He's $12.99. He was $13. I said, oh yes, oh yes. With your little bald headed beautifulness. I had to get him, I had to. I had to get him. I, it, and then I found the rest of the set. We're going to get over there. We're going to get over there. But, like, look at him. I had to. I had to. Okay, butter dish. I got this butter dish at Home Goods. 
the same time I found that little present. And I got it because again, color scheme, it's really cute. I also feel like it's kind of classic, so it would just go with whatever I'm doing for Christmas. It was $7. It was one of those like at the checkout purchases that you find. And I really like it, so I'm gonna use that this year. And then I did find, I was able to get these um, measuring spoons from Walmart because she's cute. Wait a minute, is she chipped? No, baby, no. Okay, well, we'll work on that. I think she's chipped, but that's okay. So it, it's a whole set here that a girl and a boy. And I think it's so cute. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use this. But I had to, I, I got it. And it was like $6. So it was a worth it investment for me. Okay. Let's come down here. We And this was at Michael's. I got this little wall sign. It says home for the holidays. And I paid $15 for it. Maybe I paid $12. One of those. $12 or $15. It was on sale. But I just liked it because of the little gingerbread houses. And I think I can fit this above my cabinets. I don't have space above my cabinets, so I can't put things up there, but I have the little bulkhead thing, so I can hang something on there. So I figured I might hang this up there because it's just narrow enough to fit that space. All right, now let's get to this first train. I found this, so I, okay. First thing, I took back the Santa train because Santa was hanging out that window like he was drunk and his little candy cane was limp and I just I just I couldn't keep looking at him I, I couldn't keep looking at him I'm sorry so I sent Santa back he had to go back to the North Pole and deal with them elves so I found this train went inside of was this Marshall's I found this train in Marshall's yes and it was $35 so a little bit cheaper than Santa Santa was 40 this one was 35 and I just it's just cute it's just cute I love all the details like they put a lot of effort into the details of this one now this little gingerbread man let me tip him back i mean he is hanging at this window like he about to jump now so i don't know we got you know we got the cute cookies back here and you got another little happy gingerbread man so i think this is really cute and i really love the waffle cone um train cars that's cute it doesn't light up so i wish once again i wish it was a light up because i feel like that would be cute if something if something lit up especially for 35 dollars. but it's really nice now it has the same issue that i had with the other one where it's just connected with this little wire so you know it it's harder to move but since there's not three train cars like the other one was it's a little bit easier um and then by having it like that you can you know maneuver it around a little bit you get some flexibility so i do like this train but then we're gonna come back to this stuff i well i found this one i found this one and i found this one at marshall's and it was only 30 dollars. so i was like wait a minute and bonus it lights up so i the, okay this one's probably my favorite because okay look look at all the little details it's got the pink and red and green you got homegirl just peeking out the window here enjoying her ride you got him here driving the train up here some little gingerbread kids up up top just looking off I, it just it's cute the little cookie wheels and again the ice cream smokestack and the best part is it's all one piece like it's on a platform so it's all on this one thing which makes it so much easier to move around so that's what i'm liking about this train the most is that i can move it and it lights up and it was the cheapest so but i still like this one so i don't know if i'm gonna keep both of them or just keep this one because it's my favorite but i don't know i'm just excited especially it was thirty dollars and uh, let me let me turn it around so you could actually see all the details. The details continue on this side. Look at the little cookies in the windows. Like it's just cute. It's cute from all sides. So this would be a good one if you have a spot to display it where it'll be seen from multiple sides. Because this other one 
they had to do some you know the back is just the back you know so it's not gonna be as cute and you see they got the little toothpicks holding it up so the back isn't as cute so you kind of got to let it you just got to let it sit how it is um, but this one you could turn around and I like the little star on the back okay let's move on so those are the trains that I got then I got these little measuring spoon sets now did I need this set no because I already have a gingerbread girl but I saw this and this was cute TJ Maxx it was eight dollars I mean I the, it was the snowman face the little penguin the gingerbread man Santa it's it's just cute so I got it because it was cute and that's my justification Hobby Lobby I found these little gingerbread spoons it was ten dollars so with the discount five dollars and I got two sets of these because I initially thought we were gonna use these to like stir up the cocoa or whatever but then I read that this is hand wash only so yeah we won't be doing that um, so I might just use these for dry ingredients like scooping out sprinkles or something but they're cute nonetheless and I like them what we could use to actually stir the cocoa or whatever we make are these cute little gingerbread and candy cane drink stirs so you got 25 this is from Ross for three dollars and I can beat that like I mean you get 15 gingerbread and 10 of the candy canes it's perfect and look how good it looks inside that drink so I'm happy about that that was a good purchase that I was able to get and then this is was another thing from Target the little old-fashioned candy canes sign it was five dollars and I'm thinking I want to hang this in my bathroom to kind of go with those red and white striped towels that I mentioned earlier so I'm gonna see where I can put that but I'm thinking in my bathroom it would be cute because I really like this little candy cane hanger here okay so let's talk about the rest of this set here so I, I found the man found a little gingerbread man cookie jar then I found the salt and pepper shaker set and I look at this cute little house with the multicolored candies across the top and then this pretty little tree and it's cute on all sides TJ Maxx it was eight dollars and I had to and then at home goods not a part of that set but at home goods i saw these little white salt and pepper shaker houses and i thought these were nice because they're a good size um but also they could be used for any any year so this was six dollars for this set so they're really good size but i felt like they would work with whatever i got going on like i could break those out for easter if i wanted to you know so that was the fun of finding those coming up here I got this Santa because I mean he's cute I like I like his little peppermint hat him holding the little peppermint with his little pink mittens and I got him because I do have um, like a little powdered vitamin drink that I drink in the morning and I usually have that sitting on my counter and he has a really wide opening which is bigger than a lot of the other cookie jars that I have and so I thought maybe I could put my vitamin drink the whole canister inside of him and put the lid on it and I did try it but he uh, I, I can't really close his hat as well as I would want to to do that so I might take him back but I did get him because he's cute he was $20 from home goods um, and I know that there's other ones in the set there's like a nutcracker and a gingerbread man but I haven't seen either of those I only found him so I do like him but he's cute okay let's talk about the rest of this collection i'm so happy i was able to find this little sugar and creamer set i love the little house i love this cute little face over here so i'm so i'm so happy about that and i found the little mommy and me set let me pick it up for you i found the little mommy and me set and i'm so i love it i love it i was just happy both of these were 12.99 each and so i this is super cute i just I'm so excited that I found the rest of that collection. And then the little wagon that they're sitting on, let me come down here, I'm gonna move Santa real quick. The little wagon that they're sitting on is from Joann's. And I I was on the fence about getting this because the price was, the price. Let me, what did they want for this? Let me see. 
<laughs> they wanted fifty nine nine nine. The, the devil is a liar. But I wasn't gonna pay that. So I got it when they had it on sale. So I got it for like nineteen dollars. So that that was a better price for me. And what I do like about it is it's not very wide. If I move these out of the way, I can show you. It's not very wide. So it's not wide as like a regular wagon, but the wheels are actually functional. So I think that's good. And it has a little chain that connects it, connects the pole so that it'll, it'll hold itself up. So I'm thinking I wanna use this in my front porch area. I don't have a porch. I have an area outside my front door. So I think I might wanna use this there. Um, we'll see how that works, but I do like this wagon and I love the little peppermint wheels. That's that's really what got me, the little peppermint wheels. Um, and so that's going to be cute. And then I do want to show you this cute little Santa. Walmart, $5. He's got a pink present. I just, I couldn't. I had to. I had to get him. Okay. And then I got this little pink tree. I actually got two of these. Let me move this out of the way. I got two of these. And this is from Hobby Lobby. And I think with the discount, I paid $3.50 for it. So got that to go with the color scheme. I'm gonna talk about that painting in a minute because that was a find for me. Okay, and then the rest of this is ornaments. So I was looking for this specific shade of pink because I have an inspo picture that I'm going, working off of and it had like this shade of pink with red and white and that's kind of what I'm going for for my main tree. So I found the right shade of pink finally at Target, these are glass ornaments. These were $5 a piece, but again, they were having a sale, so I got it for like $3.50. So I got as many boxes as they had. They only had three boxes, so I got three boxes of those. And then this set actually has that shade of pink as well as a couple of other shades of pink. So I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that one or take it back. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna dec start decorating with these ones and then see if I need more, and then I'll open this one. And then from at home, I got these pink and white stripes. It's a little subtle but I got that, it was $8. And then at home only had one of these, which is that same shade of pink. Again, glass ornaments. And I think that set ended up being $5 for me as well. And then as I come down here, Target Dollar Spot, again, these cute little light up houses were $5. And so we have the reindeer barn and the post the post office. And I just thought these were cute. And what I like about them is you just pull the tab and they light up. You don't actually have to put batteries in them because I am so tired of buying batteries. So I liked I like that five dollars each, and I got one of each of the pieces that I found in Target. And then this I wanted to show because this is just a little light up tree that I found at Ross. It was eleven ninety nine, and I really liked it just because the light is pretty bright and it's clear with a little gold base. And I felt like this would be cute in my little nativity area just to give something with some movement. So I got that. And then I also found in Ross this beautiful little Welcome to the North Pole Home of Santa Claus sign. And Santa's not my thing this year, I've said that multiple times, but this was only $6. And I just thought this was such a pretty sign that I, I, I just wanted to buy it. Okay, Walmart the let it snow i had to get him he's a little like vintage snowman he's got the candy cane five dollars he's red he's got that pop of teal so this all works for my color scheme so of course i snatched him up of course coming down here to hobby lobby i saw this little man i mean his little face is what got me i thought this was like a separate towel with a pot holder but it's all connected like it's a one one piece deal it was nine dollars, so four fifty. Um, but I do like it has this little loop, so you can hang it wherever you need to hang it. And so I like this. I only got one of him because you know four fifty was still a bit much for this to not be two pieces, in my opinion. And then this sign. Oh my God, I love this sign so much. Old fashioned hot cocoa bar, marshmallows, whipped cream, peppermint sticks. Yes. I love this sign because one is round, so I feel like I haven't found a lot of round signs. So that's one thing. But two, it's like a tin material. Ross, Ross, Ross. I just, I love this sign. I love it. It was $9. I immediately grabbed this. This is, 
I love it because I feel like it doesn't say anything Christmassy. So this could be like a Valentine's hot cocoa bar, just a winter hot cocoa bar. Like it could literally just be whenever you want it to be. It does not say anything about Christmas. So I, I love that. Um, so I found this one and I really like this. I'm not sure I'm going to use this one because I did find another one at Burlington that I'm about to show you um, just in just a second. But okay. Last few things on the table here. I got these picks from Joann's. They're just gingerbread people. It's a little gingerbread men and gingerbread snowflakes and trees. Um, the original price was $12.99, but I got these on sale. So I think I might have paid three or four dollars a piece. I just got three of them because I want to use them as toppers for my gingerbread tree. So I got those. And then lastly from Walmart was just this kitchen accessory kit with the two mini mitts. There's um, a pot holder and then a towel that has the little, let me show his face, the little gingerbread man on there. I want to say this set was like $5, so I'm happy I got that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the signs and the rugs, and then we're almost done. This might be my best find at Burlington yet. This beautiful painting, and it's huge. I love this painting. It looks like Thomas Kincaid-esque. This beautiful painting was at Burlington, and it lights up, which I, I was like, oh, this is even better. The best part about this painting is... I saw this painting at Kirkland's. Okay, Kirkland's has this painting for $100. You could get it on sale because they've been doing discounts. So I think you can get it for like 80 or 75 at the moment. But I was kind of on the fence about whether I wanted to get it or not because I was like, that's a bit much. But I was gonna try to wait and see if I could get it at an after Christmas sale or something like that. I went into Burlington, I saw this painting and I was like, oh my God, this is the Kirkland's painting. It's the, it's the same painting, y'all. I looked it up. It's the same painting. The only difference is the Kirkland's one has a frame around it, so it's a framed painting. This one's not framed. But the price, look at the price. Can you see it? $25. It was $25 at Burlington. So I jumped on this when I saw it. And so I'm so excited. I don't know where this is gonna go. I think I might put this in my bedroom because it doesn't work with my current theme, but I, I'm just so ecstatic. And then I went back into Burlington um, a few days ago and I saw that they had more of these, but the framed version, and that was $35. So if you wanted that Kirkland's painting or this Kirkland's painting, check Burlington, because they are bringing in a lot of paintings. I've also seen some of the paintings that are at Hobby Lobby at Burlington as well for like steep discounts. So just wanted to say that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, this sign is from Ross. I love this sign. You already know I love a green. I love a green. Official North Pole Bakery, candy cookies, bread, cakes. And then I love that it has these little gingerbread cookies on the front of it here. And these are raised, so they're applique as well as the North Pole Bakery piece. I just love it. It's a whole stand so you can actually stand it up and it was ten dollars and i was looking for this and i'm happy that i finally found it at my ross so really happy with this purchase i don't know where i'm gonna put this this year i was thinking on the porch but we'll see well the quote unquote porch um, outside my front door so we'll we'll see and then this one this is the one i want to use for the cocoa bar because i love that round one i do love that round one but this one it's perfect for the theme because it's like the North Pole hot cocoa. It's got the gingerbread men, the chef hat, the Santa hat, the peppermints, the candy canes, like the little hot cocoa mug that I feel like looks like it works with the Dollar Tree mugs that I'm using. And it's got cookies, marshmallows, whipped cream, and peppermint. Like this is like the epitome of my theme. I got this at Burlington. Burlington again, hitting it out the park this year. Hitting it out the park. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. So I'm so excited that I found this sign. So this is going to be the one for the cocoa bar for for this year. Super excited. Okay, one more sign. This one is beautiful. This one I got from Michaels, and I really wanted it because I like that it says Merry Christmas in the red letters and i think that's really beautiful um the things that i'm not as in love with is that it has like this distressing 
along the edges and I thought initially it was just mine like I thought mine just got beat up in the process of getting to my store because I actually ordered this to be shipped to the store so I was thinking maybe it just went through some things but I've seen some others since then and yeah they all just have this like distressed look I guess it's supposed to look weathered and so I'm not really a fan of the weathered look I like vintage but I don't need it you know like I don't need my stuff to look like what it been through right so I was on the fence about whether I was gonna keep this but I want to put it above my tv um, in my living room because I think that would be a good place for it so I'm thinking I might keep it because I feel like from that distance I'm not going to be able to really notice the distressing and if it really bothers me I can just come through with like white paint and touch up the edges but I do like it and I think it's a classic sign that I'll use every single year so that's the signs let me show you the floor mats and then we'll be done I picked up this little bath mat from Amazon it was $15 when I got it I did look to see what it costs today and it was like $25 today I link it I wouldn't pay $25 for it but it is cute for 15 um, and it, I like them because he's got the little pink bow tie and the green buttons and I just thought to have a fun little gingerbread bath mat would be nice in that room so I I do I did get him he's not as big as I want him to be but he, he's cute he's a cute $15 okay, I've been collecting these gingerbread doormats apparently so I found this one at Target it was on sale for seven dollars so I had to get it because I mean it's like my thing so I think I'm gonna use this one outside my door this year and then this one I found at Ross it's a little bit bigger you can see it's a little bit bigger it's more traditional colors but it was only nine dollars at Ross so I'm just gonna store this away to use in a future year because my doormats are always a gingerbread doormat for Christmas regardless of what I'm doing on the inside it's gonna be a gingerbread doormat so got this one Burlington again found this little gingerbread kitchen mat joy to the world um, and I liked it because of the little gingerbread houses because I felt like the red door kind of complemented the red door and some of the other houses that I that I picked up so this one was ten dollars at Burlington and then this one is Hobby Lobby. I really love it because I love the green reef around the doors. I think that green really pops off of there. With the discount, this is only $7.50. And I just, this is one of my favorites of the design. So I got two of these and I'm gonna store, well, I'm gonna store probably both of them away because I'm gonna use the Target one this year, but I'm gonna store them away and keep them both. But I, that I love these they're so cute thank you so much for watching I know that was a really full haul but I'm super excited to get started decorating for Christmas because December is almost here so I gotta get going on getting all this stuff up I hope you'll come back and join me to see how all of this stuff comes together so I'll see you guys soon thank you bye Christmas. 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 Christmas.